What's going on? It's that boy Flo. Today we're talking about Miracle Chan. It is a horror and comedy anime. What better time to watch it than right now in October, the Halloween spirit. Now I know what a lot of you may be thinking, flows. Horror animes are never good. But you have not seen the likes of, you know, another Quartz Party. And there's a couple other good ones that I know, but this is not because of how scary it is, but it's because of the perfect blend of comedy and horror. You have these parts that make you go like, oh, that's, that's crazy. I can't imagine being her position. And you have parts that will make you laugh. It is a perfect blend of both that likes to implement the comedy with the horror in a way where it blends in so perfectly. Now, getting to what Miracle Chan is, it is about this high school student named Miko whose life turns upside down after she starts seeing ghosts. Now she has to live day to day ignoring these ghosts despite being terrified of Tira several times to avoid danger coming to her and her friends. It's a pretty episodic type of anime until the plot starts to thicken a bit and it goes into the little story arc which you will see but for someone who reads the manga it's absolutely great. Now hopping into the first episode, us as viewers assume that so Miko can already see these ghosts that they talked about inside of the summary right but no it doesn't seem like that we have a couple different hints throughout the first episode that makes the question can she see something or can she not see something stuff like this scene right here where a dog is barking at the trash right there usually dogs can see stuff that humans can't the fact that she was looking at us made us assume that oh maybe she could see something too but that was not the case at the moment next we have a scene where she's you know brushing her teeth she sees a handprint on the mirror which is obviously doesn't belong to any of her family members she just waves it off as oh maybe her brother did that later on at school she's going back to get something that she had left now we see a little dark shadow in the corner and we're questioning like what that is she obviously starts seeing it now we're getting more and more to the parts where oh she can see things she just doesn't realize it yet that's what is happening in this first episode it's just getting us into it along with her now we have this final scene of the hints of you know there are ghosts around now while she's reaching out for the thing that she had forgot at school you can see something zoom right by her now boom we finally find out that she can see ghosts and she finds out herself that she could see ghosts too it's when she is at the bus stop it's raining she's drenched she's texting her friend and for some reason her friend keeps sending her pictures of herself back to back to back over and over until she sees a gruesome image of her face contorted into like some type of monster she throws her phone down on the ground and she's saying oh i'm just saying stuff it finds out that you know those texts never really happened per se and when she looks up there it is <laughs> she finally comes face to face with this ghost now any normal person's reaction to this would be oh my god what the fuck is in front of me right now but her for some reason she's able to keep a straight face obviously from her you know body action she's terrified at what she's seeing right now but she decides to ignore it now what her ignoring this is key because i've been taught in real life that ghosts spirits they do exist that's what i believe in right personally but if you interact with these ghosts these spirits if you acknowledge their existence they can interact with you also her ignoring their existence is just like a regular person that is walking by and there's one right there they're not gonna mess with you you're not gonna interact with them because you don't acknowledge them they don't exist to you so that's what she's doing essentially right here and you can see he just walks off or she can't see me but she she can see them and she's terrified and this is just the start of her adventure throughout this anime and us watching how she deals with this on a daily basis now that is pretty much the premise of what this anime is going to be about is really it has some very funny elements it has some darker elements it comes all together in a perfect blend that's why i really do think that if you're looking for something go ahead and watch this it also has a little bit of fan service but when i say that because i know there's people out there who do not like fan service i am one of those people who don't like it when it's you know thrown in your face every other scene it's on like the first episode or the first two episodes it's like a scene like this <laughs> Made me, you know, made me have to think real quick. Like, hold up, how old is Miko, real quick? You know, what? let's go, let's go check that out. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, all right, all right. Now that that's all out the way, I'm gonna need you to go check out Miracle Chan yourself and tell me how you fuck with it. I'm not gonna sit here and make no 15 minute long video, you know? I know y'all niggas don't got that type of attention span, you know? So, quick little five, six minute video. Get the idea in your head, bring it to your attention that this anime is out there and it's something you could be watching. So, without further ado, I'm gonna get stepping. And if you mess with the video, you know, drop that like, subscribe, comment down below. It helps me and, you know, all the best ways and until the next time i drop a video i'll see you then